Time to play with some clay. I am going to make two more horse armatures because I think I'm going to add two horses to it. You don't want even numbers. You always want uneven numbers, and five horses is better than four. So anyway, I'm thinking about doing that. I'm here at my computer table, and I'm just getting ready to uh, work on these horse armatures that I'm going to make, and these are the tools I'm using. I'm using... Um, Oh, what's it called? What's that called? My brain's not working right now. Um, bonsai wire. It's used for wrapping bonsai trees and forming them. And it's absolutely perfect uh, for armature material because... Let me see if I can get a piece of... It's about an eighth of an inch thick. And it's very pliable and it's strong enough to hold up. And so I'm going to use that today. Now, I do have instructional videos on how to create a horse armature. Uh, several of them on how to create a horse from scratch, which is a two-hour video. And one on creating a horse and a rider. And all those are available tomorrow. Uh, I've got five of them uh, or on, on now on Vimo. But tomorrow I'll have all the rest of them on Vimo. And the two horse ones are already on there, as well as the horse head, uh, creating a horse head. So anyway, I'm going to put a little brief review of uh, creating a horse from scratch uh, at the end of this uh, little video here, because I just, I just couldn't get in the mood to sculpt today. Maybe it's just because it's Monday. Well, about two hours later... I've got the uh, armatures of both, for both uh, of the extra horses that I may or may not use uh, made. And uh, tomorrow I'll get back on the uh, clay of the third horse. Just, uh, just having fun with my uh, wire. This wire is so much easier to bend than that copper wire that I was bending for the other horses. Uh, because it's it's easily ma malleable. It's... it's it's probably uh, like an aluminum wire coated with a copper finish on it. But anyway, see you next time. Bye. Hello, I'm David Lemon, and I put together a group of instructional DVDs to help those interested in sculpting and clay. This video you're about to watch is a review of a two DVD set I offer called Creating a Horse from Scratch. At the end of the video, I show you purchasing options for this set of DVDs as well as others on my list. Now, let's take a brief look at these two DVDs, Creating a Horse from Scratch. Here's the, uh, I'll just rush through this video. I just want to show you what I got here. The first part, I discuss tools and clay. Now, before I get started on this, uh, video I do want to show you uh, what I what kind of clay I use. I use Chavant's uh, NSP Soft in this uh, video on this horse. And I go through uh, cutting up the clay and I, then I discuss each of the tools and stuff like that. You can such as the glyptic uh, wire tools. In, uh, just go in, in, uh, here. And then I go into I researching go online uh, for the anatomical, uh, you know, stuff, uh, material that you're going to need to do your research on. Uh, I tell you how to search, what words to use, and stuff like that. And then I discuss this uh, program that I've got uh, that I do my uh, drawings and, and my illustrations and print them out and... Uh, Anyway, it's called Printmaster Gold, and uh, you can buy it online. I show how I make an armature, uh, or decide the size of the horse, and how to print it out, and then make, a, make it so you can make your armature. 
using that drawing or that uh, illustration. And let's go on through here. Then I show how to put the uh, armature together uh, to create uh, a horse and uh, measuring it all out and deciding on your pose, how to uh, adjust your horse and stuff like that. And then I show uh, the putting on clay yeah, yeah. and uh, stuff like that. Let me get back, uh, let me get to uh, I go through and I completely um, create the skeleton of the horse uh, before I put the muscles on. Now this is in part one and let's go to part two now. Alright, the uh, second DVD starts where the DVD one left off uh, with the skeleton and then I just start filling in and adding muscle to the uh, skeletal structure and I name all of them, all these muscles that I'm attaching as best I can uh, in uh, little texts on the screen and so that, you know, I don't know the name of all the muscles, but maybe you'll learn them, maybe I will, as I look at these uh, names. Anyway, just uh, working on the muscles, uh, adding them uh, to the horse's anatomy. I'm not really paying much attention to detail right now, I'm just blocking in the mass, muscle masses on the skeletal structure. I show how to make a hoof. Uh, how to do the legs, and now the detailing of the muscles in the uh, the rear of the horse. As I work on the muscles and de start detailing them, I show uh, how to make hair, my method of making hair, how to make an armature for the uh, tail, uh, and actually, the, the uh, <coughs> progression of when to make the tail, I, I don't make the tail at the beginning, I make it almost near the end, and the same with the mane, and then I show how to make the mane of the horse, or at least the way I make manes of a horse. Um, each person is going to do their hair and horses differently. This This is a Mustang, so... And then I add, I show uh, a video of a tour of the foundry, uh, how they make a mold of a, a clay uh, that I did uh, called uh, Captain Lovewell. And uh, that's, uh, and uh, let me go through, and I show you how they make the waxes and uh, how they screw them up and put a cup on them. And we go in the shell room where they dip the waxes. This is a young cowboy that I did. Um, so this is uh, the you know waxes they're doing in there and, and dipping them in the uh, ceramic solution. Uh, I show how they do that. Uh, the, gentleman talks about how they do that and then I show the pouring of the, the, the uh, bronze itself. The finishing of the uh, bronze, the coloring of a bronze and all that is included on this uh, second DVD. Let's go to the computer now and I'll show you. First you go to my website uh, where I have all my nine instructional DVDs offered to you for sale and uh, listed and uh, a short review of each uh, DVD. It opens up onto this page, Clay to Bronze, and, uh, and you'll see a review of all my uh, current nine uh, instructional DVDs uh, listed here. Uh, and each one is uh, linked to a YouTube review 
video of uh, the items or the uh, subject on each one of the uh, DVDs and uh, you pick out the one you want or the ones you want uh, you can pick uh, more than one or all of them but anyway then you go over to the upper part of the uh, right column and there you'll find this drop down menu where you purchase my instructional DVDs and you just uh, click on the little arrow right here and that drops down a menu and it shows you the listing of all available uh, DVDs I currently have available for you to purchase. Purchase uh, more than one um, that's fine if you want to purchase this one uh, uh, DVD or a set of DVDs uh, that's fine too. Uh, there's a there's also available the ability to purchase all of uh, the selected nine uh, DVDs and uh, in one package, and you can save uh, over a hundred dollars in that purchase. So using the drop down menu, you go down until you find one that you want. For instance, for instance, creating a horse's head in clay. You click on it. And then you click on Add to Cart. When you click on the uh, Add to Cart, a page will come up uh, linked to PayPal, your PayPal account. You just uh, make your purchase. If you want to add another one to your cart, you just uh, go down and, uh, for instance, uh, a full figure of a mountain man. Uh, click on that. Add that to your cart. Then it comes up uh, on your PayPal page again. And so now you got two DVDs, and uh, with the total and everything that you pay to uh, PayPal, of course. All right. I hope that's helpful. I hope uh, you got something from this, and uh, I hope I've uh, perked up your interest in sculpting. It's a wonderful uh, career. It's a wonderful hobby uh, you can make into a career, and. Uh, it, it, the, the world opens up to you when you when you can sculpt and eventually at, you'll figure out ways of sculpting better every day every time you sculpt something you'll learn something from the last one you did and that's I still learn I'm doing this for geez over 50 years and I'm still learning I'm still doing things for the first time so you, you just have to have patience and uh, know that uh, eventually all this is going to work out fine. All right, um, I'm going to let you go now and uh, see you next time. Happy sculpting. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.